Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Annie's Lectures. Here we are going to discuss the topic Architectural Model of a Distributed System. Architectural model describes how these distributed network components are interconnected and interact with each other. The architectural model is classified into two types. One is a client server model and another one is a peer-to-peer -peer model. Now we will see the definition of the client server model. The client server model describes how a server provides resources and services to one or more clients. For example, websites are stored on web servers. A web browser is the client which makes a request to the server and the server sends the specified web page to the browser. So some of the examples of server that is web server, mail server and file server. Examples of web browsers, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari and Opera. Now we will see the architecture of a client server computing model. Here we have two computers. One is the client that is the web browser and another one is a server. So both the systems are interconnected in an internet. The client server computing model works based on request response model. So here the client system is an user agent that can give the request to the server and the client machine can provide an user interface to the end user. Whereas the web resource is available in this centralized server in this client server model. An important point here is all the resources are associated with an URL and it is advertised to the client system. Now the client can send the request to the server and it can get back the response of the specified document to this end user. So here the documents can be an image file or it can be a text document or a PDF file or it could be a video file or audio file. Now we will see how this client and server can interact with each other. So first an end user will enter an URL in this client system. So we will see the structure of an URL. So here see for example the user enter an URL as http colon double slash www.google.com followed by a folder name and followed by a file name with .html extension. So here URL is nothing but uniform resource locator in this server machine. So now this web browser will give the request to this DNS server to convert this domain name into a numerical IP address. So here the domain name is www.google.com that is converted into an IP address that is a numerical IP address 127.0.0.11 that is a 32 bit binary number. This URL has three different parts. One is a HTTP, it is a communication protocol between web browser and web server. The next one is the domain name where this requested resource is available. And the next one is the file path. So that particular file is available in this remote server. Now, once the client gets this IP address of this web resource that will send a HTTP request to this server and the server will respond the web page as a HTML document to this web browser. Now the web browser will interpret this HTML document to visualize the content to the end user. So that is all about the client server model configuration. We will see one more example. 
so here this architecture uh, we have a centralized server which is receiving the request from more than one client so at a time a server can accommodate only the limited requesters from this client system and the services are processed based on the priority and when the client gives a request to the server the server will authenticate the client uh, before executing the process so you see these advantages and disadvantages of uh, the client server model so here the advantages of client server computing models are easy management by known ip address and access to resources users can access shared data which is centrally controlled backup and network security controlled centrally then disadvantages of this client server model so single point failure that means the entire web resource is available in a centralized server if the server fails the entire system fails next one congestion may occur in a distributed client server model if the request is overloaded in the centralized server then there is a possibility of a congestion uh, occurs in this centralized server maintaining cost is quite high in this client server model so to overcome all these limitations we have an alternative solution so that is a peer to peer model configuration so now we will see what is this peer to peer model <coughs> so here a peer to peer model a peer to peer service is a decentralized platform whereby two individuals interact directly with each other without intermediation by a third party instead the buyer and the seller transact directly with each other via the peer to peer service now we'll see this architecture of the peer to peer model here we have four different computers and all the computers are act as both server and client here it is a decentralized model there is no central server so here the entire web resource is distributed in all the systems and all the system has equal facilities and fixed responsibilities so in that case the node is referred as a peer so there is no master and slave uh, system in this peer to peer model so how this system in this peer to peer model can discover the resource is all the systems they will coordinate among themselves and they will find the requested resource in the distributed system so here <coughs> this is the architecture of the peer to peer model these are the number of applications of a peer to peer network napster natalo casa or distributed file sharing services unreal tournament is a multiplayer game shared whiteboard is a collaborative application and skype is a voice over internet protocol service then for streaming media service we have popcorn time and instant messaging is based on wechat now we will classify the peer to peer overlay networks so the peer to peer overlay network is classified into two types one is structured and another one is unstructured the structured network has been implemented based on distributed hash table mechanism can coat page tree page tree or some of the examples of structured peer to peer overlay network <coughs> and in this unstructured we have three different classification one is centralized distributed and hybrid 
So Napster is a centralized unstructured peer-to-peer -peer overlay network and Nutella is a distributed unstructured peer-to-peer -peer overlay network. CASA and FOSTRAC are a hybrid unstructured peer-to-peer uh, -peer overlay networks. I will see an example of uh, this peer-to-peer -peer network implementation. So here Napster is one of the peer-to-peer -peer protocol that can uh, provide uh, music files. That is, a uh, music file can be downloaded uh, in this particular network protocol. So here in this architecture, we have three different system. One is the centralized Napster index server and another two systems are two peers, peer A and peer B. Now this peer A will give the request to the index server to register the files to share with other systems. Now the system B which is interconnected in this network will give the request to the index server to find out the location of the file x.mp3. Now this index server will give the list of users who has that requested file. Now B can directly contact this peer A and it can download this file x.mp3. So here Napster is one of the music file sharing service and here when this B and A are interconnect with each other so they can then the peer B directly download this uh, requested file from this peer A and here A and B are communicating without an interference of a centralized server. So in this architecture. So now we will see some of these advantages and disadvantages of a peer-to-peer -peer model. So here peer-to-peer -peer computing system is a decentralized approach. All the nodes have equal facility and a fixed responsibility. Every computer acts both client and server. No master and slave system. Disadvantages of peer-to-peer -peer model. Administration is difficult because the entire web resource is uh, distributed in the number of peers and it is not secure one. A backup of data is not simple in peer-to-peer -peer model. So here in this session, we have discussed architectural model of a distributed system. I hope you understand the concept very well. And please subscribe the channel. Thank you.